It's funny because I watch people, uh, younger people now writing. Mm. The whole thing of writing has completely changed. Writing has gone somewhere else. I'm always impressed to look at old movies of records of the First World War or time, that, those times when people were taught penmanship with a, mm-hmm. with a flat, like a quill pen, oh, like really a, yeah. with a straight edge pen and they were taught a certain kind of penmanship and it's beautiful to watch. It's beautiful to see that writing and seeing someone do it. Mm-hmm. And now people clutch a ballpoint pen in a fist some way that I can't even imagine how you control that. You can't see the end of the pen. Right. And you just shove it around with a fist. But one thing is when you learn when you learn sign painting, when you learn quill lettering and sign quills are beautiful instruments. They're made of they're actually made of squirrel tail hair. Russian squirrel tails, sables, tied in a piece of goose quill. Like the end of a goose feather is split, and these hairs are put into the goose quill, and they're wound and twisted with a copper wire, and that's the brush. And then you put a stick a stick in the end of it. That's actually a separate part, is this the handle? And you say, like from a Pinstriping dagger, the handle's that long, and the brush is that long. Right. And then, and a lettering quill, normally the brush will be about that long and the handle might be that long. But you learn, you have to hold it between the thumb and two fingers, and you have to be able to roll it and, and move it that way. You have to ro- roll the brush while you're, you turn the hairs, keep it flat, make it round, make it fat, make it thin. So you learn like that. You, wow. And that's and, obviously you're also pinning your pinky down to hold it up and down. Like, well, sometimes you are. Sometimes you're resting on your pinky or you're just getting it out of the way. Right. And another thing I've got here is mall sticks. It's in the corner here, but that's another way of painting is you rest your, you have a stick with a, All right. I'd make them with a wine bottle cap on the, uh, a cork on the end. Right. And you rest that stick on what you're working on, and you rest your wrist so that you don't have the weight of your body on your hand. You put that stick as a rest, and then you actually move your fingers, resting your hand on that stick, plus you move the stick. It's beautiful to watch. I I learned how to do that. And some people don't use the stick. Some people use their hand as a bridge. But it's neat when you watch people with a, with a craft like that. You oh, yeah. never think about that until you watch them yeah. do that. 